This video is showing that we continued to rebuild this Pico bot car by a boom. We're using, as I've said in previous videos, the Pico W with Wi Fi. Here I've got a program with a proximity sensor and it shows different distances and changes the wheel direction if there if the bot car gets close to an obstacle. Now what I wanted to show you was more than that. How is this set up so that we can attach these Lego pieces and then have a platform to add more peripherals like in this case a servo motor because we've got servo pins. This expansion board has a lot of pins, a lot of possibilities and we can use these Lego parts if we attach them with these brass standoffs. I move the wheel, the, the roller ball, to the rear on the suggestion of our friend Jason in Brighton, England. Now we've got a way to set the, the uh, bot car down. And I took the roller ball off of the battery, which was uh, attached on the previous video. These um, two standoffs are fit through holes that had the original roller ball. I've got two nuts on each bolt to lock them in. They'll vibrate loose if you don't do that. These standoffs come in different diameters. This one is too big. It will not fit through the holes. These are the correct size. They're 2.5 millimeters. I might have said on a previous video I was using three or 3.5. These are actually 2.5 millimeters in diameter. They go through the holes. I bought these at the hardware store with the nuts. You'll need to test them and make sure that they go through the receiver part of the standoff. These do not. They're too small diameter. You can see this one is a larger diameter and that works with these standoffs. These standoffs have a smaller diameter. So there'll be more about this. We're doing more programming, learning how to build out and create a platform to put more of our peripherals mounted onto this Pico W dot bot car by Yaboom.